Hey guys, this is Perry Guy 88 and welcome to Let's Play Earthbound. This is episode 12, and this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Yeah. Last episode, we uh, had a little problem with the police, but don't worry, that's been taken care of. Yeah, they've definitely learned a lesson about messing with children. And anyway, uh, now we're gonna go over to Tucson now, the next area that we need to go to. And the black antoids are running away from us again. Yeah, these are black antoids. So, what's up with all the rats and the little key boy there? Don't, don't tell me that these rats live in this house here. Uh, e hey, you, uh, you do live here, right? I live rid free in the mouse's house. The mice are known as exit mice. They are very kind, and boy are they fast. I really love these guys. Wait, so let me get this straight. A mouse has his own home and stuff like that, and you... Earthbound, everybody! Yeah, where things don't make sense. Alright, anyway, let's talk to you. Trust me on the... Okay, I didn't pay attention. Please take Bustle along. He may look like a regular small mouse, but he can lead you to an exit if you're lost in the maze. Will you take one of my sons along? Yeah, okay, this. We'll do it. He's a tough boy. You could treat him as one of your items. Yeah, we got an exit mouse. Yes! Yeah, uh, what an exit mouse does is that when you want to get out of a dungeon, like uh, the giant step dungeon, then you can use him to get you out of there instantly. Very useful. Well, anyway, let's keep going. Oh, what's in here? Hmm, okay, good. We got plenty enough items, so... Well, let's get rid of the cookie, of course. We, we don't need that, so... Let's go open the present. Yeah! I, I definitely... Res it, when next time I get a present, I'm gonna expect a hamburger in there. Just a hamburger, not a real Christmas present or anything. Just... Okay, anyway, I guess we gotta deal with this weird mushroom thing. Anyway, that's the rambling evil mushroom. He has a... 8 and 128 chance of dropping a... Ketchup packet, which you can use to enhance your food items and make you heal better, but you have to make sure you have the right combination of food and condiments. But we'll talk more about that later on. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, fight him now. Yeah! Good job there, Ness. Alright, now the. the It's kind of dangerous to fight this guy because he has an attack that can. He'll, he'll spray your, his spores around and then you'll be mushroomized, which means that you'll be confused and you'll end up hitting yourself sometimes. But it's also going to do a weird effect outside of battle. Yeah, there you go. Luckily, we let Ness didn't get mushroomized, so I guess we won't get to see it yet. Oh well. Uh, maybe we'll maybe we'll get around to, to that later. Oh well, who cares? We're at Tucson now! Wait a minute, hold on. Uh, I, we're almost there, of course. I'm not an enemy, I'm just a friendly mole. I'll tell you how to distinguish between your friends and enemies. It's easy to tell an enemy just by looking at them. Enemies look like humans with weird colored faces. Beware of them. However, you can't get more powerful if you avoid your enemies. Oh yeah, the thing about that is in, in Tucson, there's going to be blue-faced people. That means that they're going to be people that wants to fight you, they're enemies. We'll talk more about those kinds of enemies later on when we encounter them. Hey there, lady. Welcome. Would you like me to tell you about Tucson? Ah, sure. Why not? Go ahead. Tucson has a modern, clean hotel. There's a hospital and a, and a wonderful chaos theater. There is the Polestar Preschool and a nice bus station. If you're curious, you might want to check out Berglund Park. It's exciting. East of town, you'll find the Peaceful Rest Valley. On the opposite side of the valley is Happy Happy Village. Uh, what's in Happy Happy Village? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, there's also a piece of parlor. Do you want to know anything else? Sure, wh what else do you know? Well, tiki, I don't know anything else. What the? Okay, I'm not angry. Dude. Thank you anyway. Uh, yeah, we're going to be exploring Tucson and all those places that she just mentioned. Tucson. We got this name because we weren't first. <laughs> oh, that, that's funny there. Anyway, Ness, you're looking pretty low on HP and PP for sure, so let's let's stay in the hotel, okay? Hmm. You must be quite a rich boy to stay at a nice first-class hotel like this one. Yeah, Ness is pretty rich by now. Welcome to Hotel Tucson. A one-night stay will cost you $50. Would you like to stay? Yes. Have a nice day. All right, good night there, Ness. Ness? Ness? 
Yes, I'm a friend you've never met before. My name is Paula. Can you hear me calling you? I am Paula. Hey there, uh, do not worry there, Ness. What, you had a weird dream about a girl named Paula calling you? <laughs> yeah, that is a weird dream. I think you should lay off the pizza there, Ness, okay? Anyway, enough playing games. Let's just keep going, alright? How about reading the newspaper before you go? Here's this morning's two song driving... Oh, the headline. Ghost found it to inhabit total to three. Oh yeah, uh, every time you stay in the hotel, they'll let you read the town's newspaper to see what's going on currently. <laughs> oh, I, I know a special trick that we can do. I'm sure people who played this game before knows what I'm gonna do next. Let's bug this guy, yeah. What? So, what? Huh? Pardon? Jeez. Hmm. You're annoying. Thank me. Yeah, yeah. Ah, ha, ha. Hey, you. There it is, pal. Ha, ha, ha! It's so hot today. It rocks. Is it cold today? Ho, ho, ho. See ya. Here, get yourself a juice or something. ka -ching! Whoa, dang. Yep, we pretty much stayed in this hotel for free. Yeah, because the money he gave us is $50, and that's how much we had, how much room is here. Yeah, you can only do this trick once, by the way. Well, at least it's a fun, pointless trick uh, that you can add to your knowledge book. Yeah! Anyway, then, we, let's visit our next attraction, which is the... Well, what the heck? Oh, no, not this music. I... What? No, it's that weird flying man. No! You just take it instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for this memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, for the pickles! Now, wait a minute, what's a fuzzy pickle that... Ah, wow, what a great photograph. It will bring back the fun of the memories. <laughs> How did he get up? Where did he keep coming from? Is he, was he waiting on the roof or... Ah, Nessa, I know you like it very much though to pose for him, but... I, I just want to know where he goes and where he's come from. Oh, I hope this, we don't see him again anymore. Uh, this is the cycle shop puncture. Wow, <laughs> oh, I get it. Bicycles are much fun, so much fun, huh? and so convenient. It's a lot faster than walking. You'll be real popular with the biking crowd. Do you want a bicycle? All right, yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have any more bicycles for sale. We only have rentals. Yeah, do you want to rent one? Sure, okay. I really like your straightforward style. I'll tell you what, I'll let you borrow a bike for free. All right, yeah, Ness got a bike. You know that two people can't ride on one bicycle, so of course three or four people on a bike would be impossible. Did you also know that you can't ride a bike with anything following you? Teddy bears, for example? Carrying a bear and riding is impossible for you. And don't even think about riding a bike into a cave. Alright, yeah, until now we got a bike, of course. It's not very useful to use the long term, but it's very good for only like like one use here. So anyway, uh, Ness, you, you want to ride your bike right now? All right, yeah, sure. Yep, Ness is definitely going to enjoy his bicycle. Yeah, too bad that pretty much after this episode we're not going to need it anymore, but who cares, right? Yeah, because Ness enjoys riding his bicycle. Yes! Also, if you push the R button, I no, not that, that's the wrong button. I believe it's the R button. Then, uh... Oh, show him, Ness. Yeah, yeah, see, if you push the R button, then you will honk the horn. If it's not the R button, then you will know. Whoa, what the? What, that, that was a blue face man right there. Yeah, that's the blue face people that the mole was mentioning before. And then uh, this particular one is the annoying old party man. Or party drunken man. And anyway, he has a uh, 2 and 1 8 and 2 and 1 28 chance of dropping a protein drink, but that's not really important right now. Other than that, he, you just bash him to death, and then he just goes down. No big deal. But I gotta say, what kind of party did he just come from? Good smash their desk, girl! But seriously, though, uh, 
wherever party he went to must have been a really wild one. Ugh, I, I could definitely imagine certain people. Okay, I'm getting off topic. Uh, whatever, then. Uh, forget it. Forget I ever mentioned any of that. He's just weird. Alright, anyway. That's pretty much it. Uh, we don't got enough time to do anything else. Oh, okay, maybe we do, but Ness kind of really doesn't want to do anything else but ride his bike. Oh, uh, well, you can blame Ness for this, for not showing anything else. Oh, well. But he d but, uh, yeah, we do got a point that we are all running out of time, so, uh, let's go ahead and e end the episode. All right, that's the end of episode 12. Stay tuned for episode 13 when we explore the rest of Tucson and all the fun things you can do there. Like the Chaos Theater and those two multicolored jacket people. All right, anyway, that's the... Uh, I already mentioned that. Uh, that's the end, uh... Ugh. Sorry. Uh, this is Perry Guy, idiot. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.